So here we are, East Kangaloon, day 10, doing the Nepean Doco. This is what we first looked at so when, when Graham first touted the idea of doing a documentary on the Nepean River. We've been looking forward to this since uh, day one. Here I've been annoying him about when are we going to do Robertson, when are we going to do Robertson. Although um, as this is actually East Kangaloon, but we're only a few kilometres basic drive from Robertson. We're about to do a two kilometre trek up that track there, which you'll see in a few minutes. This was originally the first area the water supply for Robertson. So we're going to have an exciting day going up and having a look at where the Nepean actually starts. So I hope you get just as excited as we are about bringing this to you. After a 90 minute trip, we went as far as we could in the car. It was then time for the day's trek, as we've had to do numerous times before. I'm Graham, and beside me is Jeff. Gee, thanks Graham for the warm intro, but I'm sure our viewers know my voice by now. Yeah, okay. On that day, we began using a new 4K camera. And to be honest, it was not without difficulty. Well, uh, Graham, we're at a fork here. Can you answer me, like, where does that one go? And that one. this one, this one, this one's... That, that, goes, that goes to the weir. That goes to the Robinson weir. Right. Where they used to get the water from, but we're going to the source. Which is the, the source, that, I mean, that's like a cultured okay. driveway. Well, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look, okay. Don't trip over there. Graham, that was really a lovely day there in the Southern Highlands in amongst the Australian bushland. But walking it was rather tiring. You didn't tell me it was actually a two and a half K endurance trial. Not a walk in the park. Well, to be factual, the walk was one and a half kilometres on this reasonably well made track, then followed by one kilometre of a combination of an open expanse and extremely dense undergrowth. Well, I'm very surprised that this grassland is here. And, you know, where's he gone? Oh, over there. Should put a bell on him. When one is full of trepidation about where one is going, one goes a little bit slowly. Right, we're hopefully nearing the source of the pen. Hopefully. Where are we going? This might be this might be a bit thick here. I didn't wear shorts today. I figured from what you told me we were going to have to do Well, there's no, there's no path, so we're going to have to blaze our own trail. <laughs> you want to take this? <sighs> Still recording? Yeah. Oh, I'll record you falling over. Uh, this is Graham getting up. This is Graham getting up from his momentous fall. Something for us to have a laugh at. Well, what happened was this twig here got between my legs, hmm. and I couldn't. Yeah, myself. Well, thank you for breaking it off for me. Oh. 
So there seems to be a bit of a hollow in front of us. Because I'm not going up that hill. Oh, oh shit, this thing's got hold of me. So I'll go around it. Oh, can't go around it. Oh. You've got to be kidding. They're all rotted, so you... That's my sweat, you can hear, flipping into the tr tree ferns. Okay, so this is it. Get a shot of this. Huh? Come up here before you come down. Okay. <laughs> now this is the source. The source. Just around the corner, there are two streamlets to join together and just come down here. Only, only meters away. And uh, we follow the water, and it comes okay. down here, and goes up here, on its way to the Hawkesbury, yes. from here, 130 kilometres away. This water, or parts of it, will reach the Hawkesbury. Not the part I just drank. Oh, you'll probably pee it out somewhere on Long <laughs> It'll eventually make its way down there. We are the first person to ever be here. Okay, we made the journey from the source of the Nepean. And now the Robinson Weir. The Robinson Which, Weir. I believe it's down this way. As we saw earlier. Did we? The weir is two and a half k's from the source, but by crossing overland, we cut half a k off that. Although you don't see it, that was a wombat burrow in the making. We've not encountered an end of track sign before, and as you can see, it was really weird. Yeah, Graham, when I first saw it, I hoped that we were at the weir. See something? Yes, Graham. When I first saw it, I hoped that we were at the weir. Water. It was only then that you got very excited. I can't get on to that. That's definitely right. But I can go out there as far as the gate. Nice of the kookaburras to herald our arrival. Yes. Oh, can't look. No. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even look. While Graham was filming, I thought about the source 
where I have my sip of Nepean water. The river only travels three k's to accumulate here. So it's fascinating that in the early days it quenched the thirst of a whole town. Stay there. Okay, now leave. You must agree, that was unexpected. I do concur. I was gobsmacked. Now, back to the car. After a few minutes, we were on Moresby Hill Road searching for the Nepean. Yes, the Nepean we just went over. No. Nope. There was no sign here like the one we were used to seeing at previous stops. So we had to stop and check our notes. Jeff was right. It was our river. What's it show on the Google Maps? Huh? Did you Google Map this one? Okay. I've got this, can you have a look and see? Well, that's it. That's it. I can't see anything from this side. It's not really worthwhile anything because it's not flowing. You can't see it flowing. After doing the tracks and the ferns at the source, it was pleasant to walk along a paved area. Although on first sight, you may wonder why filming this part of the PM was worth it. I can assure you, although it has only meandered two and a half kilometers, the flow has hardly changed. Car coming. Do you want to, what happened to our sign? Oh, yeah, okay. you want to grab the sign? Safety first is our motto, isn't that what you said? That wrapped it up for here. Only one more stop to go. Tourist road, we're here. To the novice like myself though, and never having been here before, I thought there was a sameness as Morsby Hill Road. As you saw, once again, there was no road sign to tell the world of the presence of our Nepean.
tourist road. Yeah. The last spot on the actual area that we we didn't called the beginning of We didn't put the, the uh, safety sign down. Oh, this is a bit wider, isn't it? It's probably a wide road. <laughs> Kangaroo score. The river's travelled only a few See, when you, when you look kilometres. On Google, when you look on Google Earth, yeah. Here, it's written Tourist Road. Where's the words Tourist Road written on this? No, this is Tourist Road, the road, not the bridge. Yeah, but if you look on Google Earth, there's Tourist Road. I don't. It's a, a weary thing. Smell burning timber. Observation. Remember how much water was coming over the weir? It's gathered more water between the weir and here because that's why that volume is much bigger, much greater. Okay. What's our shooting for today? Did you have fun with us? We had fun and enjoyed bringing this to you. To be notified when we next visit the Nepean, press the bell. Subscribe and click the like button if you did. Bye.